Oh, this is John Griffin, and today I'm going to be going over um, a couple different uh, formats. Um, you know, specifically, I'm going to go over heat maps today. We we currently have a video posted out there for geographical maps, which is a newer uh, newer 4.2 business objects um, format there. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, as you can see, I'm logged into um, InfoView here or Launchpad. What you want to do is go to your documents. I'm just going to give you an example of one that's in my favorites. Um, this is a current uh, geographical map that has already been uh, created on a report. And uh, as you can see, once we open this, the available objects, they're going to be uh, just eFashion Universe. So again, this is just by default what, uh, what we have out there. I just pulled in city, state, store name, pulled in some, um, some um, <clears throat> The, the margin aggregation sums just to have some numbers and cost in here. But as you can see in um, a previous video that we've put out there on uh, geographical maps is um, just formatting the chart plot. Uh, as you can go in here, you can modify that heat map or this uh, geographical map um, in multiple different ways. So you can do your, uh, your globally, you can go into each area, you can change colors, you can change uh, where the legends, if you wanted to go bottom, uh, right, left. Um, Data values, um, again, you can just go through here and play um, with each one of these to change that, that um, geographical map if you want to change borders, layout. And again, uh, the select the chart area, um, specifically what you want to do if you want to uh, change the title, the legend, or the plot area. Plot area is where you're going to spend most of your time and where it's defaulted in here. And what that allows you to do is change the colors. Um, so you can change colors, you can change size. Um, you can change the bubble scale, how big one of the bubbles is. The highest you can go on there is 10. Um, manually, you can type in others um, and go from there. But uh, So today, I'm going to go over the heat map section of it. So if we want to go ahead and just change this, uh, turn into, I'm just going to change it back into a vertical table. Um, you'll see kind of what we're working here, the objects that I've dragged in here. Um, and then what we're going to do is, for Business Object 4.2, just want to show you so here, turn into, you're going to want to go to more transformations. And then what you'll see is you're going to see maps here. You're going to have your tree map and you're going to have your heat map. So uh, these, are, these are very helpful with distinguishing things um, in a sense of uh, your business needs, where some industries are, are doing better than the others uh, when it comes down to profit, margin, uh, and so on. Uh, but let's go ahead and start with the heat map here. Go ahead and apply that. You go ahead and hit OK. Okay. And so from here, here's your here's your standard heat map. Let me go ahead and show you the other one real quick. Here's the tree map. And um, from here, what you, what what you'll do is it it automatically transforms into the specific uh, map that you want. Uh, but then you're going to have to go in there and format it to what you want it. So if I go back here, you'll see uh, we're going with sales revenue with the state and the city. Um, so to change this information, you'll want to go to the format chart plot area. And from here, this is where you'll just go through. You're going to have all of your options here. Um, you can also go ahead and change them all from here as well. As you can see, um, you'll be able to change the name, uh, test heat map. Um, you can change width, heights, um, just like any format, pretty much on any of the other charts that you uh, put within a report. Um, you're going to have your area display, and um, we can go ahead and turn on data label displaying mode. Uh, you can uncheck any of these you want, uh, whether the, the category axis, um, whether it's visible or not. Like if you want to take something off, we'll go ahead and um, take one of the titles off of category axis. Just to, uh, just to kind of show you some of the differences that are there. And then again, you have your legend where you can change it to top, bottom. We'll go ahead and put it on the top instead. Um, or let's just go to the opposite side. Let's go to left right there. Um, kind of going through again, um, you'll have your measure properties, ascending, descending, however you'd like it put in the report. Your data values. Um, now let's start changing some of the colors here. So we can change, uh, I'm just going to do wild and crazy colors just so we get... Uh, that's a pretty significant difference within all this. Your border size, we can go like a medium border size. Okay, these are pretty even colors here, so we'll just we'll just keep those the same. Background, let's go ahead and change the background. Let's change the background, let's go to bright yellow there. 
and you have your borders. If you want to change that, you can do thin, medium thick borders, uh, style, dash, it's going to dot it, uh, layout, and any of this information you change. So what you'll want to do is um, go ahead and click apply there. It'll apply all those changes we just did, okay? And you'll see it's a pretty, pretty big difference here. Okay, yeah, so you can see different things changing here. Now, if we want to go and move this legend over to um, a different side, you know, we can go back to the right, hit OK. It's going to move that back over to the right. So there's a ton of different things. Like, for instance, as you can see, we changed um, that I put a border on here, put a pink border around each one. Uh, your color scheme, you can change that so it's not these specific colors. And if you go back to here, uh, area display, let's go... Or was that about style? Yes, it's going to be here. Okay, so the different colors you have here, this is where you can kind of play around with it. Let's just do some wild and crazy colors again. Um, and you're going to see immediately how it changed the colors within here. As you can see, these aren't going to really, these colors aren't really going to work for us just because they're, they're bright colors and they kind of overlap in each other. But that was just to give you an idea of what the, the tree map and the heat map is going to do in here. Thank you, and uh, check out our other videos at uh, wciconsulting.com.